Welcome to the next episode of Deacons with D. I am your host this afternoon. I am Dietmar Ostermann, the regular guy from Long Island. The show brings us back to Spain. Spain is the largest producer of wine by acreage. Italy is the largest producer in terms of liters produced. But Spain is major. And we talked in one of my previous shows about the famous Rioja wine from northern Spain. Now we want to move over to the other major famous Spanish wine, and that's the Ribera del Duero, also oftentimes by the local just called Ribera. So the Ribera region, del Duero, as the name indicates, is around the Duero River. That is the same river that flows all the way from Spain to Portugal, goes by Porto, and the important Portuguese port regions are on the beds of that same river. The Trempanillo grape in that region is also oftentimes referred to as Tintofino. And just like in Rioja, you have the different classifications like a Concecha, which is a young interpretation of the vine, the Crianza, which has aged two years of which one in oak, or the Reserva, which has aged three years, of which at least one in oak. We will be trying all of these here today, and I have selected, as always, a nice ensemble of this beautiful Ribera wine from the region that's just two hours north of Madrid, and also just about an hour or two over to the west from the Rioja region. Two years ago, I had no idea about Riberas. My brother once called me and talked me through this and said, have you ever heard about this world famous wine uh, called Sicilia, Vega Sicilia? And I said, yeah, I've heard about it. I really don't know much about it. Well, that wine was always the number one Starwood wine from the Ribera region. It is classy, it is expensive, it is well known all over the world. So look up Vega Sicilia. The bottles are typically $300 plus and highly rated. We are not tasting those here. We are tasting affordable Spanish wines that are top notch rated. Let's start here with the Protoss. Protoss is one of the top producers in Ribera. This is the Protoss 27, and it's uh, a Concecia 2016. So this wine has not aged as much. It got very high scores, that's why I originally purchased it. I think it's a 93 rated wine by the Wine Spectator. And I give you the Vivino scores towards the end of the show. and. Uh, share with you my scores. Okay, let's check out this first Concecha Protoss 27. Okay, we are looking at a uh, very dark mixture between ruby red and garnet red color. Uh, not see-through as you would expect from a heavy, high alcohol, high tannins, medium to high tannins, medium to high acidity, bolder wine. I'm looking for some legs. I do see some good legs in the glass. Let me check out the alcohol content as expected, pretty high, 14.5. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Elegant fruit in the back. I'm uh, smelling some aromas of blackberry, some aromas probably also from dark, dark cherry. 
a little bit of a wood accent even though this wine wasn't so long in oak very pleasant in the aroma very elegant very impressed let's give it a whirl extremely balanced quite a bite of acidity but good acidity really very little tannins fruit or blackberry mixed in with some bite from cherry um, very very fresh with a little bit of acidity, full body, uh, but tannins is very, very low. Overall, very pleasant to drink. I would see this uh, as a good wine to drink with uh, meaty foods, like a lamb, which is famous for that region, or even just like a cheeseburger. But what is impressive, um, at this wine is the balance. It does have this acidity, tick, bit, tannins, bold wine, strong structure, but all of it is in harmony and in balance. So this wine, this uh, Potos Concecha 27, retails for $29. Vivino score said 4.1. And uh, Wine Spectator 93, I scored a 4.3. I really like this wine. Okay, second contestant is a 2017, also Concecha, younger, not long aged in oak. It's called the Alto 2017 Concecha Ribera. Again, very high rating. That's why I got attracted and uh, initially purchased this bottle. Let's see whether they hold up. This bottle retails for $52, so it's a little bit more, but it's also rated 4.4 on Vivino and no wine spectator score yet, but previous vintages 15 or 16 got a 94. So I'm very interested in this one as well. I'm pouring out a little bit to clean out the glass to not have the aromas and tastes overlap each other. Okay, here we go. The Alto with two A's in the beginning. Okay, what do we see? Color almost identical to the Protoss 27. It's a dark color. It's um, more on the ruby red side, but a little bit of a garnet red tone in it, not see-through, very dark. Good looking wine. It has again quite some uh, legs. Looking here at the alcohol content, identical 14.5, so relatively high. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Also laid back, not in your face, dark fruit, blackberry for sure. Elegant, I have to say, very similar to the Protoss 27 with a little bit of a wood tone in it, a little bit of blackberry, a little bit of cherry, and elegant. Enough fruit to be interested, but not all over your face. Let's give it a whirl. A bit more tannins than the Protoss. Fresh acidity as well. Not as full-bodied as the Protoss, but very, very good. So this would be a wine I can even see drinking prior to dinner for some of those uh, red wine lovers out there that don't want to start with the appetizer with the white wine, go right to red wine. This would uh, handle this well. So I like at the moment the Protoss 27 a bit better, but I would give... Um, this Alto wine of 4.1. Everything about four and better, I would buy again. I would definitely buy this wine again. Considering that it's $52 and the Protoss 27, not to be mixed up with the regular Protoss, the Protoss 27 is an upper level brand uh, in the portfolio of Protoss. That one was 29. 
I liked it better and it's about $20 less. So let's move on. The third wine. Third wine is the Arzuaga. This one is now a Crianza. So remember the Crianza means it has aged for two years at least one of those in oak. So it will be a more oaky, heavier wine. Also Ribera del Duero. And this is a 2017. And all of those pre-selected wines would be scored at Wine Spectator 90 points or higher. That's how I make my initial pre-selection to decide which wines I want to have on this show. And then I go a little bit by personal preference thereafter. So let's try this next wine. I'm cleaning out the glass again. Okay, here we go. Arzuaga. What do we see? It is um, dark color again, a little bit more see-through than the two other wines. And yes, some lines in the glass, I would indicate alcohol content probably similar, 14.5. All three of them were 14.5. That's relatively heavy for a wine. Not quite as heavy as the Italian Amarones that frequently come out at 15 or 16 percent. But 14.5 uh, is in the league of every single, you know, Napa Valley Cabernet has that uh, type of alcohol content. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Blackberry is the base. Maybe there's a little bit of plum in there. Maybe also a little bit of dark, dark black cherry and a nice, elegant background wood tone. Let's give it a whirl. Um, not just blackberries, but also some red fruit, raspberries in it. But the acidity, in my judgment, too strong. I don't like it as much from the acidity standpoint. So I prefer both the Protoss 27 and the Alto, the Azuaga. I would give it 3.8. That means I would not buy it again. I'm sorry, Azuaga. Uh, because of the acidity that is biting in the tongue plus the wine feels a little lighter which I wouldn't have expected from a wine that actually has um, you know one year of aging in oak and two years of total aging okay last contestant we are back to Protoss the winery the famous winery right there in the main town what is the name of the town again let me check this out Peña Field, the town of Peña Field with this beautiful castle and the castle is right here on the bottom. Beautiful castle that can be visited. So this is a 2014 because the uh, Reserva has to now age for three years of which more of that is in oak. So this is now an even heavier aged and oaked wine than the Crianza called a Reserva. I looked this wine up as well. It is rated 4.2 on Vivino and Wine Spectator gives it a 92. Now mind you that the Protoss 27 from 2016 was rated 93 by Wine Spectator. I like that the best so far. Now this is two years older and obviously aged longer. Very excited to see how this compares. Okay, here we go. The color is even darker than the previous wines. The color shifts over a little bit from uh, ruby red into garnet red. Strong lines in the glass. Looks like 14.5% to me again. Yes, it is. Okay, let's give it a sniffy sniff. Oh yeah, a beautiful oak tone comes out, but not overbearing, it's perfect. It's like a good aged um, Napa Valley Cabernet. But it takes on 
the acidity and eliminates it. It takes on the fruit aromas. Let's give it a whirl. Some tannins, some acidity, both of them in good balance. Some nice fruit. I like it a lot. I think this Reserve Art 2014 can easily be better if it's another one, two, three years aged before you drink it. So I would recommend a drinking maybe in 2022, 2023. But overall, very good wine. I give this wine a 4.3 as well. So I have nothing to do with Protos, but they win in this competition. These two are my favorites by far. This one, the Arzuaga, I cannot recommend. The Alto is very good as well, but more expensive. So these are the two that I'm recommending. The Protoss 27, I gave a 4.3. Vivino in general, 4.1. It retails for $29. The 2016 is very, very recommendable. The Protoss Reserva retails for $40. I also give it a 4.3. It tastes quite a little bit different, so I would recommend that you taste both. And uh, Wine Spectator gives it a 92. Average Vivino Radar has it at 4.2, a little bit higher than this one, which was at 4.1. That is the show. Two clear recommendations. Ribera, try it out. Don't drink just Rioja. Try the other beautiful vineyard north or region north of Madrid as well. I see you next Sunday. Cheers.